Throughout the Arkham games, you're beaten and destroyed, from being thrown through a wall to almost getting eaten by a crocodile. And though Batman's suit is the masterpiece we like to make it out to be, there's still some wear and tear, especially through Arkham City with Protocol 10. If you're unaware of the story, Protocol 10 is Hugo Stranger's big plan to blow up Arkham City. With Arkham City full of villains, you can imagine how the suit would be destroyed. But to explain the best way I can, I'm gonna have to bring you back in time to the first Arkham game. Arkham Asylum. IDOS president Ian Livingstone said one developer spent two years working on Batman's cape, using over 700 animations and sound effects to make it move realistically. That two years of work would eventually be dragged over across all four Arkham games, but with Arkham Asylum, the gliding is almost diminished to none, at least compared to the other Arkham games such as Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight is the biggest game in the trilogy and Arkham Asylum is the smallest, with Knight being all of Gotham and Asylum, well, just being the Asylum. Speaking of which... Arkham Asylum. The location itself is the house of the criminally insane, holding the likes of Joker, Two-Face, and Poison Ivy. Welcome to the Madhouse, Batman! Screw justice. Kill her, and they'll all fear us. Charming. But only one of us is getting out of this cell. <laughs> no! 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 But as I said, there's not a lot of gliding in this game, so Arkham City. In this case, we actually have something good to talk about with the Mr. Fridge boss fight. In the Mr. Fridge boss fight, you have an opportunity to glide into him. If this move is executed, Mr. Fridge will freeze the air molecules to make sure you can't do that move again. He'll actually do that with every playable move you can do on him. So whether you decide to jump on him or attack him from behind, he'll make sure you can't do that move again. If you do glide onto him, you'll get this cool effect on your cape. Arkham Knight. Again with Arkham Knight, there's not really much to talk about because it's kind of overran by the Batmobile. In fact, anytime I had a chance not to play with the Batmobile, I was happy. If you ask me, I would way prefer to glide in Arkham Knight than drive in Arkham Knight, but hey, that's just me. And that was Batman's Cape. Hope you enjoyed.